Okay, see how nice and brown that is? That's how brown it should be. You don't want black. You don't want burnt. You don't want shriveled up and destroyed. This one here I haven't flipped yet. This is a cast iron pan. Cast iron pans take longer to cook your food, but then once it really gets going, it becomes a godsend. I love cast iron pans. Not done just yet, but getting there. All this is is vegetable oil. And again, if you're using thick pork chops, you want it to be a little bit higher. The thinner the pork chop, you don't need as much oil. Now, please remember, when you're working with pork chops, you need to be clean with it. You have to sanitize the spot where, like I said, I was patting dry. I sanitized that spot. You can get sicknesses from pork more than even beef. I think this is just about ready to flip. Just want to cook it up a bit. Again, if you don't feel comfortable, you can always test the middle by cutting into it. There's ways to test it too by closing up your hand. If you're really loose, it's rare when you touch between your thumb and your knuckle, your first knuckle, and then firmer and firm, it's well done. Again, I don't really use that too, too much. I just know by touching it with the tip of my finger whether meat is done. Another thing you need to remember, all those breadcrumbs, you can't reuse them once you put the pork in them. You have to throw it away. Same with your eggs, same with your flour. You can't reuse it. All right, so I'll show you when these are just about done.